So welcome back. Recently we've been working on our research paper outlines, I should say our pro-con essay outlines. And as I've looked those over, I've noticed that we've had some trouble organizing them effectively. Now the thing is, we want to make sure these outlines are as well organized as possible so that when we get to writing the paper itself, the pro-con essay itself, we're able to do so very efficiently and uh, without causing ourselves unnecessary pain. So at this point you have a pro-con thesis statement ready to go. Now what I want to talk about in this video is um, you know what the different parts are of a um, pro-con uh, thesis statement or excuse me pro-con outline and how you'll use those to or how you'll use your thesis statement to help you write the outline. So the questions you should be able to answer at the end of the video are these right here. Okay, first of all, what are the levels of a pro-con essay outline? Second of all, what's the purpose of each level? And finally, how do you actually use your thesis to help you write your outline? Now, while you're watching this video, you know, please take very good notes. Uh, you'll want to remember this information for when you're actually outlining and of course for any quizzes we might have when you come back to class. Also, make sure you write down any questions you have so that you can ask me when you see me again in class. And of course, feel free to pause and rewind as much as necessary in order to get all the information you need to from this video. Alright, so let's move on and talk about the first question. What are the levels of a pro-con essay outline? Well, here they are. One thing you want to keep in mind is levels do not move from top to bottom. When we're talking levels, we're not talking top to bottom levels, okay? So scratch that out. What we're talking is left to right, okay? So all your level ones are out here to the far left. Level twos are one tab space over. Level threes, two tab spaces over. And level fours, three tab spaces over, okay? So level one will be a section or topic heading. It says problem or solution, it says say pro or con. Let me write that in there. Okay. Level two will be your claims. Level three will be your reasons. And level four will be your evidence. All right, those are the levels right there. Sections, claims, reasons, and evidence. All right. Second question, what is the purpose of each level? Well, level one is pretty straightforward. Those are just your section headings. And all, you know, there, there are only about five of those that you'll have in the whole paper, and we'll talk about those in a few minutes. Your level two are your claims. Now, these are going to come right from your thesis statement, okay? So the thesis statement that you have written includes all the claims that you will make in your outline. The question you've got to ask to fill in this section is what's the assertion being made? Level 3 is very important. This is the crux of the paper. This is where good papers live and die. All right, these are the reasons in level 3. In other words, why is the claim a pro or a con? Okay? And level 4 is your evidence. It's the evidence that backs up the reason that supports what you're saying. Okay? The evidence can come from well, but it comes out of your research. They can be stats, they can be facts and figures, they can be expert opinion, they can be from scholarly studies, so on and so forth. Okay? All right, so by now, you should be able to answer the first two questions. What are the different parts, what are the different levels, I should say, of a pro-con essay outline, and what is the purpose of each level? All right, so make sure you know those things at this point. Search outlines, it's time to answer the most important question of all, which is how do you use your thesis statement to help you write your outline? This is where the rubber meets the road. This is where you've really got to, you've really got to think. Okay, so <clears throat> let's go back and review what we learned about thesis statements. First of all, right here we have the formula for a pro-con thesis statement. All right, so let's read through that. Although 
the top, although topic, opposing argument claim one and opposing argument claim two, proposed course of action because rebuttal claim one and rebuttal claim two. Okay, those are the five different parts of a pro-con thesis. Well, really the four different parts, but... Okay, so let's look at how this plays out in an example that I'll be using. I should say that this example comes from a student paper that we've looked at together. I've just kind of sort of uh, reverse engineered his outline, and I'll be showing that to you today. In any case, here's what it says. Although nuclear power plants are expensive and can pose security threats, nuclear power should be expanded. There's this course of action because it will fill the ever-growing demand for energy and can do so safely as well as without large amounts of pollution or waste. Okay, very good pro-con thesis statement. You can see all the parts of a good quality pro-con thesis statement right there. If you're unsure of how those parts are playing out in that thesis statement, I suggest you go back and review the videos on thesis statements. All right, so let's talk about how I'm going to use this thesis statement to begin writing my essay, okay? First of all, not writing my essay, I'm sorry, writing my outline. First of all, let's get all the level ones down for this pro-con essay. Now, I've given these to you previously. Basically, what we're going to have is an introduction, okay? We're going to have a sec section on background information. Then we'll have what we're going to call our opposing arguments. If you're arguing pro, these are the cons. If you're arguing con, these are the pros. Okay, they're the side that you're going against. So we have our opposing arguments, and then what we have is our rebuttals, or rebuttal, we'll call it. And finally, a conclusion. All right, so you can see now that my entire first level of the outline is finished. Okay, easy peasy. The second level shouldn't be too hard to fill out either. I'm going to use my thesis to fill this part out, okay? So what I'm going to do here is go to the introduction, and I'm going to paste my thesis right into the introduction on the level two line, okay? So I'm going to take that, copy, and paste. Oops, what happened there? And there we have it. There's my thesis statement, okay? So you'll notice that the thesis statement is on the second level. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all the claims from the thesis statement. Let's identify those really quickly. All the claims from the thesis statement. And I am going to put those into the second level in the rest of the outline. So let's identify the claims really quickly. So he says they're expensive. They can pose security threats. Then he goes on to say it should be expanded because of the ever-growing demand for energy. It can do so safely as well as without large amounts of pollution or waste. Okay, those are all the claims. I'm just going to take those and plug those into the second level of the outline in opposing arguments and rebuttal. You're probably wondering at this point, what about the background section, Mr. Chandler? Well, I'm not going to worry about that right now. Okay, the most important part is the opposing arguments and rebuttal. So, under opposing arguments, he has um, that nuclear power plants are expensive. Okay, and he has that they can pose security threats. At this point, we want to make sure that you know where I'm getting this from, okay? So, you will see that expensive is coming from right here in the thesis and post security threats is coming from right there all right these other rebuttal claims right here are just going to be put right down in the rebuttal section so i'll show you how that works okay so in the rebuttal i'm just going to take his rebuttal claims and plug those in so Fill energy demand. I might use slightly different wording, but the ideas are the same. It's safe, and um, oh, we'll call this um, non-polluting. At least that's kind of the gist of what he has. 
Okay, so the, my, my second level of the uh, the, re, the uh, pro con outline is filled out. I want you to notice something right now. You're gonna, if you look carefully, you will see that the thesis, okay, is on the second level of the outline. And what else goes on the second level of the outline? Information from your thesis. So every thing that's mentioned in your thesis fills out that second level, okay? So all these come right from the thesis itself. Pretty easy if you've got a good thesis going. Now here's where things get a little more tricky, or where you have to put some more thought into it. Okay, Level 3, remember that question that you're supposed to ask yourself. Level 3 is where you ask yourself, how is Level 2, for example this one right here, a con or a pro? All right, so let's let's kind of fill out the uh, expensive part here. So I'm going to create a level three here. Now I have to ask myself how the fact that nuclear power plants are expensive is a con. After all, this paper is arguing the pro side, so the opposing arguments are all on the con side. So how is the fact that nuclear power plants are expensive something that works against them. Well, one thing that um, we could say is that nuclear power plants are more expensive than traditional power plants. So, the, re the, f the fact of the matter is that, um, you know, since nuclear power plants are more expensive than others, you know, we might wonder why we should be building them at all because there are cheaper ways to get our energy. So this level three answers the question of how the fact that they're expensive is a con, how it works against it. Now I'm going to want, okay, let's see if I, are there any other reasons why, um, you know, expensive is a con? Well, in the paper that I'm sort of reverse engineering here in this outline, the student also says that, um, when nuclear power plants are built, oftentimes there are cost overruns, meaning they go over budget. Okay. Now let's talk about level four. This is where I use evidence to back up the reasons here. Okay, these two level threes are reasons. Level four would give some weight to my reasons. It's uh, facts, statistics, quotes that help back those up. So there's a uh, a quote in the paper that I'm looking at here that says that research or that uh, nuclear power plants are one one and a half to four times more expensive than traditional power plants. And that's from a source by a guy named McFarland. So I'm going to put his name there. All right. Then I would go down, and if I had any more evidence to type in to put in, I just put it right here. Okay. Same thing down here. Make sure you put in your um, source citations as well. Okay, so that is how I'm going to use my thesis statement to create my, or to help me create my research outline. Okay, if you need to go back through this, be sure you do. Make sure that you understand this information when you come to class. All right, I know that I'm throwing a lot at you. So in review, what should you understand by the end of this little video? Well, you should be able to answer these three questions right here. What are the levels of a ProCon essay outline? What's the purpose of each level? And how do you use your thesis to help you create that outline? Okay? Make sure that you know these well because when you come to class on when you come to class, I will take time to answer your questions. I may throw a little quiz in there. <laughs> And of course, we will actually work on our outlines themselves in class. Okay, so you need to make sure that you understand these principles as well as possible before you come to class. Thanks for watching, guys. Ciao.